Hey guys, this is my accounting series and we are going to discuss AS1 Disclosure of Accounting Policies. So, presenting you the chapter design of this AS. Definition Number 2 Fundamental accounting assumptions. Number 3 Areas in which such accounting standards are encountered. Number 4 Collection of accounting policies and number five is changes in such accounting policies. So let's jump on to the definition. Accounting policies refer to specific accounting principles and methods of applying those principles in the preparation and presentation of financial statements. Second part is fundamental accounting assumptions. What are the fundamental accounting assumptions? Three parts G, C, A, going concern, C, consistency, A, accrual. Third part, areas in which different accounting policies are encountered. The answer is in areas of goodwill, inventory, fixed assets, contingent liability, depreciation, etc. Fourth part, how do we select accounting policies? Three things, P, S, M. Come on, repeat with me. P, S, M. P for prudence, S for substance over from, and M for materiality. Fifth and the last part, Changes in accounting policy. An enterprise can change accounting policy if there are changes in law, that is statute, accounting standard, and for far better presentation. So the last part, let's discuss the disclosure of change in accounting policies. Here you can see the chart, change in accounting policies. There is material impact in the current period. There are two parts. Amount can be ascertained and amount cannot be ascertained. If amount can be ascertained, then amount should be disclosed. If it is, it cannot be ascertained, then fact should be disclosed. Comes non-material impact in the current period, but it is ascertainable in the next periods. So, fact of such change in later period is to be disclosed in the current period. Hope this chart will help you. And we are done with AS1. For more such videos, do subscribe.